The article I read was uh, basically about trying to overcomplicate uh, your templates and your workout programs. Uh, this guy, he was, he's been making programs for personal training for 15 years. And he goes in on a lot of times when he makes new programs, he kind of stresses out because uh, a lot of it's repetitive. And he thinks like, well, if they're paying you that much money, you kind of need to step it up a little bit or don't be as repetitive. But then he kind of breaks it down to being the simple workout programs do work with the simple exercises. And he also talks about like sometimes we get shiny object syndrome where you're on Instagram or some fitness uh, website and you see a new uh, workout and you're like, oh, I got to implement that or something like that. Uh, he goes in that he, the basics do work. It's all about progressive overload and getting people stronger. Uh, yes, you want to switch it up so the client doesn't get bored, but it don't stray too far away to where you change up the whole thing and you think it's going to be better for the client because it's something new. But in all reality, it's just a confusing workout program with a lot more words than you don't need. Um, I agree with this fully. Um, with the few clients I have trained, I get that feeling of I have to do better because um, one, they're either paying me or two, I don't want them to think I'm a bad personal trainer. Um, but all the times that I have done that and I stress about it, they've, they've really liked the program. Um, they not once have they been like, ah, oh, that's repetitive or that kind of sucked. Um, they were always uh, very complimentary, comp complimentary about it. And, um, a lot of times it's in your head and the whole, the whole thing about the article I read was just. The basics work. Yes, you do want to switch it up, but don't stress over it and think you're shorting your client if you don't do a space age workout um, every month, every month.